It's the Hot Breakfast, Sam and Edmo for Integral Homes, where the only thing left to do is to make yourself at home. Ash has just wandered in the studio with a face that I recognise. Yes, indeed. Our young apprentice, we've set them a challenge, and the challenge is to find a superstar. Find a celebrity and either get them in studio for extra points or on the phone. Now, Ash, would you like to introduce... The celebrity you have found. Sure would. Hi, guys. This is John. He is the amazing drummer from Powderfinger. Congratulations oh. and welcome, John. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having me. Mate, how did Ash approach you? How did she uh, set this up? Oh, well, uh, I, I work next door at the ABC. Yep. And uh, she just came to the door and she she just yelled out, come out here, we need some help. <laughs> no, she was very polite. She came in and, um, yeah, she, was, she just asked if I was, here, I was there and... Yeah, it just happened. Now, as, as a celebrity, you must get uh, people stopping you a lot for, for photographs, selfies, autographs and that sort of thing. Does it ever get tiring? <laughs> it doesn't happen anymore. Does it not? No. It, so Powderfinger split up in 2010, December of 2010. And I would say within three months, you know, we're, our faces were forgotten. All no except, way. All except Bernard because um, he's, you know, he's the front, front man. man. Mm -hmm. I think it's really easy to forget you know, who who else was in the band, really? which is sort of play, works in my favour. I, I mean, <laughs> you don't I, I know it. that he used to get hassled a lot. He couldn't go shopping and things like yeah. that. So it'd be a bit of a pain in the bum. You know, we can't have that happening. I, I'd love a oh, selfie, selfie moment. Yeah. Selfie <laughs> moment, oh, great. No, I'm too old for this. selfie, sorry. All right. Now, while the photos are happening, John, while the girl, <laughs> the fangirls are fangirling, as oh, they oh. do, I'm going to keep asking you questions. Okay. Who have you got in your iPad? Who are you listening to? Ooh. Who am I listening to? Yeah, ah, musically. Um, you know, <laughs> I listen to a, a lot of Queen these days. Yeah. I don't know why. I think it's. I just think it's funny. Best rock I, band in the world. Well, the lyrics are just really funny. Yeah. Sort of. I think he had a crazy sense of humour, which was really good. <laughs> now you're saying before you don't feel that much like a celebrity anymore. But what is the one thing you miss about those days then? Um. Ah, oh, look. Uh, I, I don't miss anything, really. I don't mm. ever think about it anymore. I, I would have to admit there's not even 1% of my time that I think about being in the band because I, I was doing it for 20 years and yeah. it's sort of like anyone who has a, the same job for 20 years, you get over it pretty much. It, it's sad sad as it is. It was a great job. Mm -hmm. But now I'm, I'm on to better things these days. Do you still keep in touch with the, the rest of the gang? Not really. Not really. No. We, we hardly ever town. see each other and we, <laughs> we hardly ever talk. We might see each other once a year for a, a meeting about business or something like that. But, man, we were like brothers. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. we lived in each other's pockets. The first five mm -hmm. years we lived in an Econa van um, and we all stunk. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and it, we just pretty much said, yeah, we're, we're mates, but we don't have to see each other too much. Wow. So, John, that probably will answer the next question. Uh, no, uh, no rumblings of a reunion anytime soon. Well, there could be, Ooh. but not with me. Oh no, <laughs> they're not going to Ringo star you. They won't do it. They won't do it. I, I don't think it'll happen. I really don't think it'll ever happen. Yeah, right. Do you know? I remember seeing one of your very first gigs at the Galaxy um, at oh. Stewart's Hotel. It would have been ninety five. Ninety five. Okay. Uh, ninety five. Ninety six. Who? Who was it? Supporting someone like the no, Baby Animals or something no, like that? They were there, but no, I think you guys were the main event. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. It, was, it was such a fun night. I was underage, of course. Uh, still are. Managed <laughs> in every way, in every way. Ash, you've Fun gone to so much trouble oh, sure. to bring John in. I think it's here's your opportunity as the apprentice to do the interviewing. Thank you. Just one question. Your life is so different now. It's changed so much. Does it feel like that's a whole like lifetime ago? Is it like a dream, a different story? Uh, it, yeah, in some ways it does. Um, because... Mostly because I've got an 18-month-old child and mm -hmm. life has become about family and it's not so much about going out and being silly and having fun <laughs> and being free to do whatever I want and travel the world. So, yeah, it's completely different and I, I love it now. Yeah, That's for great. all the mums out there, this is going to absolutely melt our hearts. But <laughs> do you have a favourite song that you sing to your 18-month-old <laughs> and what is it? And can you sing it for us yeah, now? No, I'm not going to sing it. I'm not going <laughs> to sing it. But um, look, we listen to a lot of Play School, a lot of the Wiggles. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm a big fan of Rock and Roll and Riding. Oh, yes. You know, out along the bay. All um, bound for, come on, you can it. do it, Morning Town. <laughs> yeah, many miles away. <laughs> <laughs> Good and fun. There's, there's also what, Incy Wincy Spiders. Uh -huh. Classic. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's classic. So, yeah. Yeah, it is mm. good.
<laughs> All right, now, before you go, would you mind just giving us a little endorsement for Ash, saying people should vote for Ash to stay on and be the Hot 91's apprentice? Yeah, vote for Ash. She's great.